uh, training here at another session that is on working with the insert menu. So what all do we intend to cover in the insert menu? Okay, let us quickly, uh, as we launch the software, let us quickly go through the insert menu and what all will be the course contents or what will be the, the contents covered in the insert menu. Fine, so we'll be creating a new or duplicating page for the report views for starting. Now, when I say inserting new, uh, adding new visuals means what visualizations that we have here in this particular field out here on visualizations and the filters and the fields that we have. We'll be adding the new visuals. So we'll be adding the visualizations and learning how to add new. Obviously, we have done this in one of our previous examples also, but we're not gone into the detailings of each of the visualizations as such. So we'll also understand uh, some of the visualizations as to what are they and what all do they mean and what all will they throw up eventually on the screen? Yes, uh, we'll be inserting AI visuals QA. When I say AI visuals means what? When I come here on insert menu, we see AI visuals. These are artificial intelligence related visuals such as a key influencers, decomposition tree and smart narrative. So that is something we'll cover, of course. And uh, that apart, we'll also be working with elements such as text buttons, uh, text box, buttons shapes and images that we see here yeah in the elements that we see text box buttons shapes images and if you click on buttons then there are different types of buttons again the navigator also there are different types of navigator that we have again in case of shapes we have a decent count of steps uh shapes here that are rectangular basic shapes and block arrows and things like that much of this you will find uh, similar to microsoft excel except that there are some features which we don't have in excel so uh, that is and this is a very dedicated software for business intelligence and business analysis or business analyst work that we do, which makes work far easier and simpler from the data visualization perspective. In Excel, we there is some amount of manual work that goes into it, but out here it gets rather swiftly and quickly done. So that's the significance of Power BI. Moving on. Uh, yes, and the last point will be working with Power Platform Reports, which is on uh, Power Apps, Power Platform Reports, uh, Power Apps, and Power Automate. These are some of the points that we will be working on, uh, content that we'll be working on for the insert menu. All right, so now that we have launched the software already, let us quickly go into the Power BI. Fine, let us quickly launch, uh, let us launch the data set. So uh, let me click on here, import data from Excel. Uh, out here, I'll go on our data set. And um, let us pick any one random data. Let us select paints. So I click, I click on paints and I click open. So the data set that we see will be loaded out here in the fields section. And yes, we have one sheet here. It's not too much. It's uh, more of the price data that we have. And then we also have the returns values out here, RRR that you see here, their returns values. So uh, I'm selecting sheet one and I click load. One of the loaded queries contains errors. View errors, or we can close the sheet also, that's fine. So we can close it. Let's click on view errors and see what is it. So that's something that came up. But yeah, there are pending changes in your queries that haven't been applied. So apply changes. The queries metadata, okay, the load is completed. So there was some kind of a metadata error which is not part of the worksheet error, probably it's internal system. Again. Okay, uh, we've loaded sheet one, right? So we want to create a new or duplicate page for the report views, right? So what I'm doing is, uh, these are the pages that are, uh, these are the columns that are available. We see uh, most of these are summation values that we see here, but this is not a summation value. This is typically a, a date, which is a date time data type. Most of these are numeric data types that we see here. Um, launch this so I'm adding a uh, close I'm taking all the close values one two and three so these are the three close values that I've taken here against the respective dates so what I'm seeing here is okay so typically what happened is uh, now this window out here is creating it has selected the clustered column chart it selected this chart on default if you want uh, we can also create a custom uh, a clustered bar chart out here it has taken a clustered column chart why did it take a column chart typically because the data set is such that a power bi sometimes itself decides as to which kind of 
a chart can it throw up or put up so if you want we can change it over here as a bar chart also this is how it will look like so your yearly the year wise values will come on the y axis and these values will come on the x axis the close price values will come on the x axis now let us expand this or take this into the focus mode and i'll close these so uh, what do i see here out here i see nerula close berger close and asian close by year so that is the description of this that we see here and out here we are seeing the different years that is uh, 2020 2021 and 2022 so in year 2021 the close prices were the highest for asian close that we see here and uh, in 2020 it was second highest and third highest it was out here uh, in 2022 so far because we are still in 2022 of course and then um, we see Neurolac was highest in 2021 and uh, second highest in 2020 and uh, so far we are in 2022 so this these numbers are not quite having any significant impact but still what we see here is we've gone past like almost the first seven months of 2022 and this value is practically half of the 2020 value that we see here uh, that is uh, 477 684 for 2020 for asian close prices out here it's 268 so it's relatively half of that or slightly higher than half and uh, there is still uh, quite a bit of uh, time still left so th this is how we create the new page and this is how we create the visuals of course uh, let us now create a duplicate page for this we would like to add something also in this so i'll click on back to report here uh, i'll reduce the size I'll stretch this up and keep it over here somewhere in the corner and i'm again i'm adding a duplicate page for the report views okay i added a new visual Oops. i added a new visual and uh, i'm not duplicating a page for the report view. after this fine let's come back on the software here right now that was the error that came up out here it is there but let us retain it or as is that's a power query editor that opens up for any errors that might have come up now, there is an error which is shown in the Berger Paints column. So date format, error, invalid cell, whatever. So that is, but we can or, or afford to like, you know, ignore it for. Now I'm going to insert the duplicate page. So I'm selecting on insert, click on new page, and then I select duplicate page. Again, it's on the insert menu as we are discussing. Thereafter, I'm click, click, clicking on new page. Then I'm clicking on the duplicate page. So again, I can see here it's written duplicate of page one. Out here in the bottom left hand bottom corner, the sheet, the new worksheet that we generated is that of the duplicate of page one. Now, why did I do that? There is some work that we have. We just created a report over here, but I want to work on the report in a more polished manner. I want to make some changes over here. To avoid doing so on the page one, I chose to create a duplicate page. And now I'll be making the changes out here. So what I'll do is I want to supposedly say I want to add a text box. I want to work with elements such as uh, added text box, buttons, shapes, and images. So I want to work with elements. I come back here on page one uh, on uh, Power BI on the duplicate page. And I'm going to select text box here. You can see it here, elements that is here. That's elements section. I'm selecting a text box. The text box, I am I'm pulling this the text box, placing it over here somewhere. A bit of a stretch and here. Now you can feel that there is some kind of a blur out here or a blackout over here. Not blackout essentially, but you're not able to see the values here or the chart. That is because this particular window has opened up. If I select to click here, then you will be able to see it. But then there was a text box again. I'm selecting it comes here selecting a text box dragging it over here in the side i'm just typing in some comparison so it's like you know comparison of close prices of paints companies narrow black asian 
and merge events. Next line, it is noticeable that Asian paints close prices are the highest amongst all the three paints companies. 2021 was the year when Asian paints close prices clocked the highest value. This is the comment that I posted over here. Now what I'll do is I'll process this. Oh fine, this is how it looks like. Another text box that we had created. So I'm removing that text box. So this is how I'm creating a comment or, or a text box for the graph. If I take it here. We can see this, uh, what all is there as part of this visual. So this is how we are creating the a new duplicate. Uh, we are creating a duplicate page of any report view, adding a text box and uh, adding visuals.